everyone. Welcome to the Golden Ratio Podcast. I am Jen, GR Mom, joined as always by GR Dad. Hi. Welcome home, GR Dad. Thank you. It's nice to be home. Yeah. Um, you came home with Teeny Tiny Puppy. I know. So this is a no rules podcast to just <coughs> give everybody the update. That's what that is. <laughs> that one is very loud. <laughs> <laughs> You want to update everyone since it's a, a visual spectacle? Oh, no, we don't. Is it? Ingo is like so enamored with this puppy. Don't make that face. Everything's fine. But he's like, look at her. She's in her crate. Look at her. She's got her hand. Look at how cute she is. Look at what she's doing. Very cute. Look at the thing. Do you see what she's doing? She's she's everything she does is cute because <laughs> she's a small puppy. There's enthusiasm for like 10 minute snaps tonight. So, Whose enthusiasm? This, the followers, friends of the squad are like well, waiting for the snaps. It'll, whatever will happen will happen. That's just my art. <laughs> Understood. Uh, so the day has unfolded with uh, you flying with her as your carry-on bag. Yeah, it was great. I mean, she is... A Talk about the process. Um, In addition to its greatness. Well, all is you, if you have a small, if you have a small dog, it's real easy. You just get a carrier, bring the small dog to the check-in desk. They charge you a pet fee, one hundred and twenty-five dollars, which is not nothing, but better than putting her in the hold. And then you just get to take her on like a carry-on. Nobody cares. No. Yep. Like nobody checks the dog. Oh, and then I, to go through security, you gave me this. You gave me all this logistical information. You take the dog out, carry the dog through with you, and x-ray the carry-on, yep. the carrier. I mean, there are probably people who try to x-ray the dogs too, but I don't think TSA thinks that's the best idea. Squawk, stop menacing the puppy. He's like standing outside her crate looking at her. Guac and Feta will play at They're going to be absolute best friends. They are, there is strong desire on both sides, except the size mismatch is still... That's something that needs to be overcome. Yeah. All right. Anyway, <laughs> sticking with the plane. Yeah. So I so I carry her through security, jam her back in her carrier. She is, she's not going to do this again in her life. I think she's yeah. going to be too heavy. Mm -hmm. she, she has to be what under twenty one pounds. Is yeah. The, she's like twelve. She was twelve the last time I weighed her. Who, that was three days ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Um, but she was so good. She went in the carrier and fell asleep. And. Then I took her out at some point during the flight after we leveled off and the seatbelt sign was off. And she was like kind of pawing at me and kind of trying to climb up on me. So I knew she had to do something. Yeah. So again, this is your plan. I had these these pads, these like pee pads yep. for dogs that you can buy. And I went to the bathroom, I unfolded it, and she went to the bathroom on the pee pad. Well, the whole floor was pee pad, so yep. it wasn't that hard to hit. But then I just threw away the pee pad. Clean bathroom, clean dog, and then she fell back asleep. Success. It was really, it was really easy when, when, I mean, she was such a good little traveler. When, if a dog is that size, this is a great option. Shut up! Yeah, I mean, you do, I did have to be at the airport early to check in because you can't get a boarding pass ahead of time. They want to see the pit to make sure you're not bringing on like a moose or something. And, uh, so that was early, right? It was an 8.30 flight, so I, had, I was there at like 7. But it was fine. National Airport remains the best airport in the country. It's pretty good. It's the best. There's no best. Well, Key West. Key West is better. Key West is better. Forget the rest. But they're remaking it to be probably more like National. I'm running on high test. I'm in Key West. If you guys want to hear the song I'm singing in a fantastic rendition of, it is the Key West Calypso. It is, it is probably not as good as your rendition. <laughs> it's a great song. It's good. It's very catchy. It's very catchy. So luckily, it's the house is very quiet and sedate these days. She she's in the crate right now. She doesn't like it. And Guac is not helping. Guac, oh man, not helping. You're not helping. Uh. But it's been a pretty okay day. Like we, I obviously was most worried about Remy. So we like got her home and, you know, had her on the leash. And then I brought just Remy out. 
and he's kind of fine. He's interested. They're not playing yet. He occasionally has like ignored her, but there was absolutely no tension. We let everybody else out, and they're just kind of like, okay, it's another little dog. Um, she w- he was very startled the first time she started barking like this because he was like, what the heck is going on? Yep. <laughs> alarm, alarm. So she she's kind of timid, which honestly is good as opposed to like pouncing on the other dogs with no fear uh, and wants to play with them. So she'll kind of bark from a distance. And like gu- earlier today, she's like barking at Guac. She's like, arf, arf. and then Guac's like, whoop, whoop. And she's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like went and hid in her crate. Yeah. Uh, but they will play soon, I'm sure. Uh, so everybody's getting along just fine. Yeah, she's alternately ah. fearless and then timid. And she has been, she's not barking all, like this most of the time. Like this isn't in the crate thing. Right. So hopefully when she goes to bed tonight, ah. Ah. after we take our walk, then she'll be calm. She gets, she get. I mean, she's a lot like any infant, I think. She gets overtired, which she is now. She's been way overstimulated today. <laughs> And so she's not, she's refusing to go to sleep, but she's just, her brain is completely fried. I think also she can like see everybody out here. So I think when we go to bed, like she won't have that. Oh yeah. I think she'll crash at some point hard. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. uh, She's a cute little poppy. She's very cute. She's smaller than, she's still smaller than I thought. And today when I've like petted Vink, Vink seemed giant and kind of, ungainly bulbous <laughs> bulbous Pink, I'm compared sorry. to the delicate little puppy that i'm used to handling for the last three four however many days she's very cute she's very sweet and cuddly this is not her most charming moment i gotta say no i'm having that a thing again where i'm i'm not exactly sure sometimes where i am yeah i we i was in I was here on Sunday. I was here. I was here on Sunday. I flew to DC on Sunday mm-hmm. a week ago. Mm-hmm. Then I was in DC. Then we went to Boston. Mm-hmm. Wednesday to Friday. Then on Friday, I flew back to DC. Had the puppy, and today Sunday, and I flew back. Yep. This morning. Yeah, and I haven't slept much at all. You do seem tired. Well, it, you know, you do like two-hour shifts with the little one. She doesn't sleep through the night yet. She's so small. She doesn't have a big bladder yet. Right? Looking at you, little one. So, yeah. (laughs) Maybe it was a mistake to look (laughs) at her. (laughs) That's it, I think. Uh, Everything's going fine. And uh, Remy has taken to heart. Don't bet anyone unless they ask you to so far. Yeah, that's great. Everybody's doing okay. No no swimming by (laughs) Feta yet. But she's, you know, it's a big ocean and she's... uh, She's standing on the shore barking. <laughs> not she, right now. But. She was offered the opportunity and is like, I'm not sure. But she's, her her mind is like clearly not developed yet, obviously, because she's a little baby. Uh, and she's just kind of like a pinball. She is. She gets distracted by anything. Yeah. She doesn't I mean, really know what she wants. She's worse than Vink. And I thought Vink was pretty bad. Vink, I'm sorry. Vink, you awesome. seem very smart and giant. If you want to be by comparison, Vink, you look, Vink, you're so big. <laughs> I did uh, teach her to sit today. She'll sit on command now. That's for great. Me. That's great. Um, so we're gonna have to work on the stay. I, I had a week and I taught her zippo. Zippo. You're not like a huge fan of the training. You're a fan of a trained dog. She's so small. <laughs> I'm trying to train her to not pee in the house. How's, how's that? That's great. What do you think of that for I training? Think that's fantastic. Yeah, I'd rather do that than sit. That's great. Stay dry. <laughs> I keep telling her, stay dry. <laughs> Think that's too complicated? <laughs> How about deny your impulses? All right, well, why don't we end this podcast and like go deal with all those sounds? <laughs> okay. I mean, we don't have anything else to say, right? Everything's right. going okay. No, no, we got nothing else to say. No. All right, little mini update, you guys. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, the next one, we'll do a regular pod midweek and hopefully it will be quieter than this. We will see. Indeed. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, thanks for listening. And Be like Remy. Don't put anyone unless they ask you. Slava Ukraini. Don't put anyone unless they ask you. That's right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>